My, 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 the devil does not want me to do this video. It's Halloween, of all things, October 31st in the year 2018, and the devil is trying to stop me. He don't want me to bring you the truth, the pagan origins of what we call today Halloween and trick-or-treat, or the three days of Samhain, where from October 29th, October 30th, and October 31st, they worshipped this false pagan stag god, Samhain, and committed animal sacrifices and human sacrifices. Well, before we begin and have our coffee, I want to thank all of you that uh, lifted Christy up in prayer. She had a virus, a bug of some kind, and a a sore and scratchy throat and a stuffy head and watery eyes and she's a hundred percent back to her old self again but now i think i've got it we got a little slight fever my eyes are just watery and scratchy my throat scratchy and uh, i feel a sneeze my, i'm stuffed up i feel a sneeze coming on so i better hurry up good Good morning, you two. My beautiful, wonderful, glorious, simply amazing, fascinating, Holy Spirit filled on fire with the Holy Ghost of God, caught up in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, heart puzzled, blessed hope, rapture ready, precious brothers and sisters, gather around and pull up a chair. Let me know what are you going to share with PD on this highest of demonic and satanic days of the Illuminati, Halloween. Human sacrifice, animal sacrifice, worshiping this wooden owl made of oak at Bohemian Grove where they have mock human sacrifices. Samhain, Samhain, the Lord of the dead. Oh, we're going to talk about that. Should Christians celebrate Halloween and take the little kitties out, trick or treat? I've got my coffee with cream. I'm pausing so I don't sneeze. No sugar. How do you take your coffee? You put cream in your coffee? You drink your coffee black? You put sugar in your coffee? What are you going to share with me? Are you going to have some tea? Are you going to put some lemon in your tea? Let me know in the comment section below. Oh, just not feeling good. Get a late start. It's 10.39 in the morning, Eastern Standard Time. Right now, I'm looking at the little clock. My, my, my. I had a wonderful day in uh, Detroit, Michigan, with our ministry and outreach to the homeless. Thanks to all of you that love this ministry and support this ministry. And I'll be out in Flint, Michigan, as soon as I'm done here. It's pouring down rain. It stormed last night. If you're from Michigan, did you hear the thunder and the, uh, and the lightning and the loud thunder rolling? My goodness, in October? October. My, my, my. Now, to the question... Should uh, Christians celebrate Halloween and uh, are you going to dress your children up and let them get dressed up and have fun as ghouls and goblins and witches and go get candy door to door trick or treat? Or are you going to go to one of these churches that have what they call trunk or treat? I actually seen, and I don't approve of this, I actually seen one church, but uh, they turned it into a haunted church. Now that's going a little bit too far. I want to say this, anything can be pagan if you make it pagan. Um, if you practice the satanic rituals that go along with this pagan day, anything can be pagan if you commit animal and human sacrifices and things like that. But what about if you just want to have fun, have the kids have fun and have a good time and you're not, uh, you're not turning it into uh, and you're not believing in these pagan rituals and uh, you're not turning it into that. It's just into a fun time with the children. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts. Probably be a lot of many uh, difference of opinions on that. So just let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. But now the origins of uh, trick or treat and what we call Halloween. It actually began uh, a long time ago with these druids they were priests and uh, they were over the celtics and they kind of ruled over the celtics the people um they would what they would do is they would uh, have animal sacrifices and they would eat the entrails of the animals 
And they believe that this demonic uh, Lord of the Dead, uh, Samhain, would give them power to where they, and knowledge to where they could proclaim, yes, you can get married, or no, you cannot get married to this person. Um, yes, it's, it's time to go to war or do not go to war. And this is from eating the entrails of uh, sacrificed animals. Now, from October 29th, October 30th, and October 31st, they worshipped what they called the Lord of the Dead, or Samhain. And Samhain was a stag. It was a hoofed animal god that was a stag, a male hoofed animal with horns or antlers. It looked kind of like a deer. And for those three days, they believed that uh, Samhain uh, caused the uh, demons of the demonic realm to roam the earth and the dead and the townspeople would uh, dress up as demons they would do their best to disguise themselves as one of these demons that were roaming the earth so the demons would pass by them and not uh, not go after them now how this trick-or-treat uh, began what the uh, druids would do is they would have a, a, a human sacrifice and they would take the fat and they would put it in, they would carve out a turnip. Today we use a, a pumpkin, but uh, they would use a turnip and put the fat, some of the fat, into this carved out uh, turnip. And then they would have a big cauldron where they would uh, boil human sacrifices and uh, um, they would have add in some type of like a apple, uh, it's hard to explain, kind of like what we would call today meat, but an apple flavoring. And they would fill the turnip and with this substance and catch it on fire. And uh, they would go door to door and trick or treat and they would take the burning turnip. And when uh, they would go to prominent uh, uh, homes or people that were uh, very well off and very well to do. And uh, when the master of the house would come to the door, they would say trick or treat. He would have to give them one of his help, uh, one of the workers or a son or a daughter as a human sacrifice. And then they would leave this burning turnip uh, <clears throat> on the front porch and the Samhain, the Lord of the dead, would, uh, would uh, give them uh, prosperity throughout the year and increase their prosperity. Pumpkins today, when we carve out a pumpkin, Believe it or not, that comes from the Vatican in the Catholic Church. They would carve out pumpkins and they would put a candle in there and light the candle and the candle represented the uh, a loved one that had passed on that wasn't quite, this is their belief, Catholicism, wasn't quite good enough for heaven and wasn't didn't live a bad enough life to go to hell, so they were in limbo. They were in a place called Purgatory. And I can't find that. That's not biblical. But they believe uh, loved ones that uh, weren't living 100% uh, the way they should, but not bad enough to go to hell, were in purgatory. So they would carve out pumpkins and put a candle and that represented your family member or loved one that was in purgatory. And they would go door to door with the pumpkin and trick or treat and they would receive candy and in return, the, the pumpkin will be left with a candle burning, representing their loved one that was in purgatory, that God would uh, take them up to heaven. So just a quick uh, um, once over. And, you know, it's going back to the Celtic though, and the, uh, this demon, uh, false god, sound like a, an animal, a male uh, stag with horns like antlers and uh, that's what uh, this is all about, animal sacrifice and human sacrifice and the Illuminati's high, high uh, day today. So if you do send your children out, please uh, have someone check their candy and don't let them go out alone. And uh, let me know what do you think. Again, anything can be pagan if you make it pagan. But what about just letting the children go out and have fun and have a good time? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Ministry announcements, one offering, come on guys, only one offering. 
ten dollars from I believe it's Harold, but it's um Fearsome Technologies. Fearsome Technologies. I'm gonna do my best to <coughs> excuse me, I'm gonna do my best to be here tonight at seven o'clock PM for our live stream. I'm gonna try. I'm heading out to Flint, Michigan right now, so keep our ministry lifted up in prayer. And uh, if you find it in your heart to support this ministry, all the links will be below. Leave me comments, everyone. God bless.